Today on Valavision News, good news for Montevallo student Canva users, a new benefit that you won't want to miss out on. And Valavision News reporter Cypress Wilkinson gets the scoop on the Stevens School of Business fundraising event, Dash and Dine. Valavision starts right now. Welcome to Valavision News. I'm Drew Roberts. And I'm Ashley Hall. Thanks so much for watching. Registration is now open for graduate students, seniors, juniors, and sophomores. Thursday, it opens up for freshmen. Before you lose the spot in a class you might need, be ready to register for your fall classes. Make sure you've met with your advisor before you sign up for classes. In other important campus news, semester course evaluations are now open. You should have received an email in your student account with a link to you take your evaluations for all your courses and professors. Evaluations are open through April 28th. Canva Pro accounts are now available for UM students. The university now has institutional accounts for the pro version of the Canva Visual Suite available for students. Canva is an online design tool used to make various graphics from promotional to personal designs and more. To access your account, visit your UM email and click the link in the latest Vala Voice newsletter. Strong Hall was packed with students and their families last Thursday for the 14th annual Communication Honors Day. Valavision News video journalist Malachi McIntosh has our story. Today, this event is our annual celebration of student achievement. It's a great opportunity to reflect on our students' numerous accomplishments. So Communications Honors Day is a day that the department recognizes all the students and their achievements over the year. Um, so President's List, Dean's List, uh, Student Service Award, uh, different awards for the communication side. I personally won the, uh, well, along with Katie Wayne, won the serv Student Service Award for MassCom. Um, I also was awarded a Student Worker of the Year from, I think, from the university. I'm not really sure. Um, it's nice to get recognized as a Student Worker of the Year. Um, I couldn't have done it without my, my coworkers. Um, they're amazing. They support me so much, and Savannah especially. She's a huge help for me. Um, she allows me to get my work done. I need to get my schoolwork done. So I try to. Uh, give back a little bit and uh, sacrifice some of my time just to help them out when they need help. Laura Moxon, Liam Nagel, Luke Knopsinger, Grace O'Reilly, Delaney Eves, Elijah Knight, Emily Monday, Ivy Siegel. And finally, the above and not the But uh, it was a, it's just a nice day to like get recognized and see my classmates get recognized. Just a day to celebrate communication. So, Drew, I heard you got an award. I did. I got the um, Everett Hawley Student Reporter um, Achievement News Reporting. So, yeah. uh, that was a great honor. My parents drove up from Mobile, surprised me with it. Um, yeah, that's awesome. You got an award as well? I did. I got an award from the Alabamian, which is the student newspaper, um, for like campus reporting since I'm the Lifestyles editor. Awesome. And then you also got one for opinion writing. That so, that's right. pretty cool. Yes, and that actually leads into our next story. Um, the Alabamian has openings for anyone hoping to flex their journalistic muscles next year. With several staff members graduating, the campus newspaper is trying to fill open positions, including news editor, lifestyles editor, graphic designer, and more. All those positions are paid. Just be sure to log into Mo Falcon Link and apply by April 30th. The Freddies, an award ceremony for student athletes, has been postponed to next week. While originally slated for Wednesday, April 17th, the ceremony will now take place April 25th at 7 p.m. in Palmer Hall. Athletes are encouraged to dress to impress. From a good run to good food, the Stevens College of Business hosted a Dash and Dine fundraiser. VVN reporter Cypress Wilkinson has our story. Get set, go! This past Saturday, one class in the Stevens College of Business was spending part of their weekend raising money for the community. The class spent all semester planning an event they called Dash and Dine. And one student says planning the event was a very rewarding experience. We did it in our class, Social Entrepreneur 420. It's, it's by Ms. Yana Smith. She helped us a lot to gather sponsorships and just setting up this whole thing. It's a fun run. It's a 5K fun run and a cook-off. Um, 
The cook-off took place after the fun run, and another way they were raising money was through a silent auction. Deanna Smith says her and her class were happy to be able to fundraise for local nonprofit organizations and give her students learning opportunities from this. To help two Shelby County nonprofits, Boys and Girls Club of Montevallo and the Arc of Shelby County. Um, and so I've watched the students grow throughout this and be challenged and um, I think that they're all feeling really rewarded today seeing all the people that showed up and how things are going and um, I'm really happy with great weather and it's been a really good event. Thank you. The Stevens College of Business started this event ha having already raised $8,000 through the event Dash and Dine. They're on their way to their goal of 10 k Reporting for Valavision News, I'm Cypress Wilkinson. Remember, there's always more news 24-7 on our social media pages. Just search for Valavision News on Instagram, Facebook, and X. Coming up on BVN, Taylor Swift's music is back on TikTok. Why her songs are back on the app. Plus, why iPhone is no longer the number one selling phone on the market. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Valavision News. We're joined by Avery Zell for another edition of The Buzz. Thanks for joining us, Avery. Thanks, thanks, Drew. The stories we're buzzing about this week. Goodbye dating apps, hello speed dating. Many people are ditching the dating apps in favor of meeting people in person. According to Eventbrite, speed dating has become popular over the past three years, all because many singles, particularly Gen Z and millennials, have grown tired of dating apps. Experts say it's a great option for those who make a better impression in person than online and are most likely to take it seriously. But dating apps aren't going anywhere anytime soon. They continue to be one of the most popular ways to meet people. According to a recent report from the Pew Research Center, one in ten couples met on dating apps or websites. Well, Drew and Ashley, how do you feel about dating apps or speed dating and which one would you prefer? Well, I know for me, uh, it'd be difficult to pick between either one because dating apps are not like the swiping thing and then speed dating seems like it's a lot of high pressure, so I'm not sure. I think I'm just, I would prefer the traditional way. I don't think I would enjoy the apps or speed dating. I have to agree with the both of y'all. I can't really decide between the two because I like the little traditional and, mm -hmm. you know, all of that. Mm -hmm. Turning to tech news, Apple saw a 10% drop in iPhone sales last quarter, due in large part to slumping sales in China. As the largest market behind the U.S., China is important to Apple. The company offers discounts there to help boost sales. Samsung was the world's top smartphone maker for 12 years straight, until last year when Apple briefly took the crown. That only lasted for one quarter. Then Samsung took the top spot right back. Taylor Swift and TikTok are back together again. Swift's music returned to the social media platform last Thursday after being gone for a few months. In January, Universal Music Group said its licensing agreement with TikTok was expiring. They took music from their artists from the site. The statement also made reference to TikTok not paying, quote, fair value for the music. The global singer-songwriter is scheduled to release her 11th studio album on April 19th. The new album is titled The, to the Torture Poets Department. So, fellas, are you all excited about Taylor Swift's new album? I'm super excited. I can't wait for it to drop and hear a new sound from Taylor uh, at midnight. Yeah. I'm not too crazy about Taylor Swift. I just know that I'm going to keep calling this uh, album Dead Poet Society until the day I die. <laughs> yeah, I would agree. It can get a little bit confusing. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Remember, there's always more news from our team of reporters on our website, valavisionnews.com. That's all the time we have for today's show. Thanks for watching Valavision News and The Buzz. We'll see you again Monday for our last show of the semester. Have a great day.